Pretty interesting, isn't it? How would a man hear this back in 1969? You know, why were they talking about replacing the Bible? And by changing the language of the Bible. And then yet that's the very philosophy that you'll hear from most pulpits. We can't understand the King James Version anymore. The words are archaic. The words need to be changed and updated. Interesting. But uh, there's a book which has been written, uh, probably one of the finest books out there on this subject of this conspiracy of the New Agers to pervert the words of the, of the King James Bible. It's this Bible right here. Uh, New Age Bible Versions by Gail Ripplinger. This is one of the finest books ever printed on the subject of the Bible version issue. I've read a lot of critiques of this book. A lot of people attack it. And it's interesting because many of them that attack it, many of the people I've personally talked to that attack Gail Ripplinger's book, they've never even read it. And the reason for that is because this thing is almost 700 pages long with the notes in the back almost 700 pages of documentation and they'll pick a little thing here they'll pick a little quote and they'll she misspelled somebody's name or something and they'll never cover the whole issue they can't they cannot refute this book okay very good book I highly recommend it we give them out here to people at King James Video Ministries we meet them when we're out door-to-door -door. Give them these books. Excellent book, okay? And you can get it at her website, uh, avpublications.com, I think it is. Okay, here again is a close-up of Gail Ripplinger's book. Like I said, one of the best ever written on the subject of, these, of this New Age conspiracy, if you will, to destroy the words of God. This Bible I found at a used bookstore uh, very, very interesting inside the uh, front cover of this. This is a Roman Catholic, a St. Joseph edition. Uh, you can see here in the back, you can see the uh, priest, the bishop, and the pope. This is definitely a Roman Catholic uh, perversion. Mary, the mother of God, and here you have Jesus Christ with his uh, heart thing there, uh, which, again, I don't have time to get into that right now, but... Uh, but something very interesting in the inside cover of this. How about that? Now, if you know anything at all about the occult, you know what that symbol is. Some call it the Eye of Horus. Uh, it's basically an all-seeing eye, and this thing is calling it Lord. Very interesting. That's not my Lord. Um, and some people say, well, that's symbolizing God. No, the Bible teaches that the eyes, plural, of the Lord are in every place beholding the evil and the good. But what about this single eye thing? Well, something very, very interesting has come out in these last few years here. Uh, we'll look up Zechariah chapter 11, verse 17 very quickly and read that. Zechariah 11, verse 17 says, Woe to the idle shepherd that leaveth the flock. The sword shall be upon his arm, and upon his right eye his arm shall be clean dried up, and his right eye shall be utterly darkened. Now you read back in the book of Revelation, and you will see that the Antichrist is wounded in the head. And isn't it interesting that the Passion movie came out and the man who played Christ in there, the man who depicted Jesus Christ, had his right eye, wasn't his left eye, his right eye was swollen shut. His right eye was darkened, as the Bible says. And you can see it right here. Now, is that a coincidence? I don't think so. They're preparing the world to receive the Antichrist. And by the way, the Passion movie is... Uh, just Roman Catholic, it's the 14 Stations of the Cross. Okay, next. Next up we have the New King James Version. Uh, you'll see this symbol associated with the New King James Version. And again, what is the symbol? 
Well, if you pick up a Witch's Book of Shadows, which is a spell book, you will see that same symbol, the three-pointed star. It's three sixes interwoven, uh, you know, six, six, six. And it's also on the cover of the Aquarian Conspiracy, and it's all over the occult. Uh, I've even, I was even at a occult festival at one time. I, I didn't know what it was, and I went in, and I saw that symbol all over the place. It is a symbol of the pagan trinity. Okay, but let me show you something interesting. Here's one of the books that is used to attack the King James Bible. This guy here, James White, uh, is a defender of the Alexandrian text and the new versions. And interestingly, you turn here a couple pages in, and lo and behold, look what we have. There you have your three-pointed star. And Latin, the official language of the Catholic Church. And some people say, well, James White, you know, he's, he's just trying to symbolize the Godhead, the, the Trinity. Here you have another book. He has a thing for this symbol, the three interwoven circles there. That's what he's trying to symbolize. And people say, well, that's, see, the forgotten Trinity. It's the Godhead. No, it isn't. In the book of Acts, chapter 17, you read that you're not to make a graven image. Of the God of the Godhead okay so whatever he's doing here using occult symbols uh, it's just kind of weird but if you go out and get this book uh, to try and refute the King James only position then you really ought to get this book to refute James White you ought to read them both okay uh, because James White attacks Peter Ruckman in here, so Peter Ruckman attacks back. <laughs> and uh, I think Dr. Ruckman shows over 70 places where James White just comes right out and lies. But uh, since James White came out with this one, he just now came out with a new edition. This is the newest one. I haven't had a chance to read it yet. I've just kind of looked through it. But I want to show you the kind of quote-unquote scholarship that James White practices. Here we have page 27 King James Version as New Revelation the, he separates King James Bible believers into, into five groups and over here on the next page he says as a result these folks go so far as to say that the Greek and Hebrew text should be changed to fit the readings found in the King James Version now if you look beside there there's a little number six See, now when you do that, you footnote and you prove, okay, this was written by, this assertion here was made by a King James Bible believer, and it was page so-and-so. That's how you footnote something. But you go down here to the footnote, and you have James White make it even more radical, and he gives no documentation, none. These are his own thoughts, his own words. So he tells you something wild here, and then you go down here and he tells you something even wilder with no documentation given, no proof. That's the kind of scholarship you get from a man like James White. Okay? Incredible. I'm going to cover that book in another video. Uh, but next, let's look at another one. Here's a rather interesting one I found. Order of the Eastern Star the women's branch of the Masonic Lodge, one of the branches. Uh, but here's a, a gift Bible, and you have an inverted pentagram, which is a symbol of Baphomet, the goat of Mendes, or whatever. It's an occult symbol, Order of the Eastern Star is what that means. And of course, down here, if you know anything at all about witchcraft, you know that they have their earth and fire and water and, you know, all of that the five different colors there you have blue yellow white green red uh, so this is you know an occult symbol on a Bible and also by the way forgot to mention if you look at the cover of a satanic Bible by Anton LaVey you will see that same symbol 
an inverted pentagram. And uh, interesting to note that the Satanic Bible of Anton LaVey and the NIV are both printed and owned by HarperCollins Publishing. So you buy an NIV, your money goes to the same people that print the Satanic Bible. Okay, but another way for this thing to be shown is this way. Okay, just a normal standard pentagram. You'll see those also on witches' books, books by witches. And I found this to be rather interesting. A New Testament, uh, New American Standard Version, and you got a pentagram on there. Hmm, very interesting.